There are a lot of different ways that people with vision loss get around in the community. Right now, primarily, friends and family are the go-to. Um, the ideal would be for those individuals to have access to any of the resources that you and I have. Um, here at Metrolina Association for the Blind, we offer door-through-door -door transportation. So we will actually go within someone's home, pick them up, transport them to where they need to go, and if they need assistance getting in, then we'll provide that to them. So, you know, we are asking that our clients have the same access, but also those special considerations um, are taken to account for the leaders of the community to um, take a good look at both what's available right now and what we can do in the future to bolster that, to make sure that they can get out. STS um, is provided by CATS, and it's special transportation that can come and pick individuals up in their homes, transport them. But right now, as it stands, those individuals to be eligible for STS have to live within three quarters of a mile of a bus stop. And that's just not the case for all of our constituents. And we do work in concert with CATS and STS to improve the experience of the end user. Um, one of the things we talked about already was um, expanding that area so we can get to more individuals. There's going to be an app for STS. How do we ensure that that app is accessible for the end users? And, and we're partnering with them, but really wanting to emphasize that there is a larger need and um, there is still work to be done to improve the lives of those that just don't fall into the standard as it's set right now.